Hello, this is Anwar Sati taking EC42 module 2 master amplifier configurations part 2 of the exercise or exercise 2 which we will consider today. So 5.30 D5.30, it is required to design a salt swallower that implements the buffer amplifier shown in the figure 5.49C. If the MOSFET is operated with an old die voltage of DOE equal to 0.25 volts, at what drain current should it be batched? Find the output signal amplitude and the signal amplitude between gate and source. So R0 is equal to 1 by Gm and this R0 is equal to under here. One, you know Gm itself is 2id by Vov, so 1 by Gm will become Vov by 2id, R0 is 100 and Vov is 0.25 and 2id, so id will be equal to, so I can just take this side and this, this side, so I'll get 0.25 divided by 200, that will be 1.25 milli amperes. Now V0 will be RL divided by R0 plus RL into VI. So 1 kilo ohm divided by 100 kilo ohm plus 1 kilo ohm into 1 volt and that will give you 1 by 1.1. 1 1. Uh, that will be 0 0.909 or 0 0.91 approximately. VGS will be R0 by R0 plus RL into VI. That is 100 ohms divided by 100 ohms plus 1 kilo ohm equal to 1 volt. And that will turn out to be this will be 0.1 k and this will be 1.1 k, 0.1 by 1.1 k will be 0.091 volts or 91 milliwatts. Or you can find it in another way also, that is VGS is equal to VI minus V0 1 minus 0 0.909, that will give you 0 .0, uh, 0 0.091 and that will give 91 milliwatts. Then we have the D5.31. Here, the MOSFET is connected again in the source follower configuration, employed as the output stage of a cascade amplifier. It is required to provide an output uh, signal, uh, output resistance of 200 ohms. The MOSFET has k dash equal to 0.4 milliampere per volt square and it's operated at VOV equal to 0 0.25 volts. Find the WL, uh, WIL ratio, also specify the DC bias current ID. And if the amplifier load resistance varies over the range 1 kilo ohm to 10 kilo ohm, what is the range of GV? So for 1 kilo ohm, what is GV? And for 10 kilo ohm, what is GV? So R0 is again 1 by GM is equal to GM is 2ID by VOV. So therefore, 1 by GM will be VOV by 2ID. ID will be VOV by 2 R0. Same thing as earlier, 0 0.25 divided by 2 into 200 equal to uh, point. 625 milliampere. ID is equal to half of K in dash W by L VOV square. So uh, you can substitute for ID, you can substitute for K in dash, and you can substitute for VOV, and then W by L will be equal to twice 2 will go this side. So twice of 0 0.625 and 0 0.4 will come below, and 0.25 whole square that will be 0 0.0625 will be over here. So milliampere and milliampere will cancel and we are left with the W by L value of 50. For RL equal to 1 kilo ohm, GV will be RL divided by R0 plus RL. Uh, 1 kilo ohm divided by 200 plus 1 kilo ohm equal to 1 by 1.2 that is equal to 0.83 volts per volt. For RL equal to 10 kilo ohms, GV will be uh, 10 kilo ohms divided by 200 plus 10 kilo ohm that is 10 by 10.5 